So since we've been talking about armor and stuff for the last few weeks, I thought I'd try some on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's put on some armor. Is this supposed to smell like this? It's kind of cold. Are you tickling me right now? Or is that just, oh, oh no, it's just a chain. We're good, it's just a chain. I'm supposed to go to battle in this? Look at this, I got my helmet of salvation, shield of faith, the last thing we need, sword of the spirit, let's give it to me. Here we go. Wait, are you? I know I'm a small person, but I need a sword that's a little bigger than this. Give me a, give me a bigger one. I need something better than that. Yes, this is what I want. Yeah, yes. Here's the thing, man. I gotta be honest. This was pretty difficult, but I'm really glad that the spiritual armor of God is not as difficult to put on. So let's go right now to week four of Unseen and see how Alex puts on the full armor of God. If you sell me out, I'll bring you down. How about you just talk to Mr. Leonard for me? I kinda already did. How do you think he found out about the cheat sheet? Why would you do that? <sighs> Alex. This, this is where you belong. So you're a cool kid. And Negan over there, she's just a nerd. More of your whispers, Murmur? Well, it wasn't exactly a whisper. This is a whisper. boy is completely changing, Angel. He's hanging out with this crowd now. And separating from everyone who can be a good influence. Well, congratulations, you bought the shot. Alex just needs to remember who he is and who truly cares for him. Are you talking about the creator? Yes. Creator has so many more important things to worry about than a single boy. Oh, football games! Oh, dear God! Please help the Dallas Cowboys have a good season this year! You demonic, ignorant and pride! When will you understand? God loves everyone, that He sent Jesus to die for His sins! That's why you belong where you do, Murmur. You have never got that. <laughs> Didn't know you were a Cowboys fan. hang out with the defectives now? Look, I don't need you to be my conscience. I'm not your conscience, I'm your friend. The friend who helped you pass the test? The friend who kept you out of summer school? The friend who told on Brandon and ruined my life? My life. Yep, that's right. You heard correctly, my friend. Little Miss Goody Two Shoes who ratted everyone out and got you into detention. I got your back, buddy. So you ain't never had a friend like me. That's not what I meant. I don't know who talked. 
Maybe Mr. Leonard heard it in a dream. Wow. Megan told Mr. Leonard. I should have known Miss Goody Two Shoes couldn't mind her own business. It's not her fault. I mean, you know how tough Mr. Leonard is. He could break the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was gonna win this angel. And the boy, the boy, he just made it so easy. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. He's gonna do the right thing. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Oh. Don't you want to get back at her? I mean, look at her. So smug, so holier than thou. She told on you, so maybe you should spread some things about her. Hmm? Let me see. You told on me, so I'm guessing I should tell a few things about you and ruin your life. Okay, ruin it. Okay. Let me just send a few texts. You know, that would only be a threat if you knew anything about me. I don't need to know anything. I can just make something up. Oh, the things they're gonna say about you. It's just awful. Nervous? I guess you really do care about what people think. So much for this, I'm all trendy and don't care about anybody's opinion. I'm within the rules. It's up to her to actually listen to what I'm saying. That's enough, Murmur. Fine. But the damage is already done. Brandon, stop it. Really? Are you gonna fight me? No. Okay, I'm not your enemy. And she's not your enemy. Then who's your enemy? Well, I guess he tried to be a big boy and stand up for his friend but he just wasn't brave enough. What? Chicken! How rude, just walking away like that. I thought we were friends. I'm sorry for the way that I've been acting. Please just help me beat the real enemy. I'm tired of you messing with my friends. What was that? What What was that? What is this? He knows where to fight his battle. He's bringing the battle to your world now, Murmur. This is it. You wanted to mess with me? Now get ready to fight. Because with God's help, I'm taking you out. He's unlocked the final piece. Now, he's putting on the armor. The helmet of salvation will remind him of all that God's done for him and that God has already saved him. You tried to knock me off my purpose, make me afraid, but I'm not afraid. God is on my side. You're in over your head, I think. You should go back to your books, back to your little friends. You don't want to go back to being a nerd, do you? The belt of truth protects from Satan's lies. Your whispers are lies, and they don't scare me. Maybe you should just realize that you're just a coward, always trying to fit in, always trying to be cool. 
The breastplate of righteousness will stop him from thinking about where he fell before. No. I'm not a coward. <clears throat> I'm standing up and fighting you! God has so many more important things to do than worry about you. The shield of faith protect from all the fear attacks. That's a lie. God cares about me. God loves me. Looks like somebody's getting cocky. Do you really think you can hurt me, human? And the sword of spirit helps you to fight back with God's truth. God has given me everything I need to defeat you. God is with me and he's more powerful than you! Such big talk. And the boots of peace will allow him to walk with confidence into the life God has for him. No, it's action. And you are powerless to the one with all the power. time that you stole gum out of Mr. Leonard's class? Or how about, how about that one time that, you know, started stealing everybody's books? Yep, me neither, because it never really happened, but who cares, right? Can we stop acting like this? I mean, we're friends. I'm not her friend. Well, she's my friend. What's gone into you? I haven't ever seen you act like this. I'm not afraid anymore. I mean, if you want to be my friend, why don't you start acting like it? No more cheating, bullying, or skipping school. And you need to be nice to Megan. Fine. I'm sorry for being mean to you. Cool. Cool. Awesome. So let's get out of here. Great idea. Let me help you. We just watched as Alex finally put on the full armor of God. And when he did, he was able to go face to face with Murmur. And not only did he go face to face with him, but he won. But the reason that he won was because he finally had the courage. He finally did what it takes to put on the armor. We heard him saying a lot this week that he wasn't afraid anymore. The same is true for you and for me. We don't have to be afraid anymore because we know that the Bible is true when it says that we have strength, we have courage in who God is. It actually says specifically in the book of Ephesians, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. What this is saying is that we can have courage, we can have strength when we put on the armor of God, when we do what it takes to follow through. Satan and the demons, they can't win when we put on that armor. Now that you know about the full armor of God, put it on, use it, and take a stand against Satan's attacks. Over the last few weeks, we've talked about this spiritual battle that's going on all around us. But what we just heard is that we no longer have to live in the fear that comes from this, knowing that the spiritual battle is going on, but we can live in courage, knowing that the victory has already been won when we put on the armor of God. My prayer for you is that moving forward, that you would walk in confidence, knowing that you have done what it takes to put on the armor of God, and because of that, that you have victory.